Welcome everyone to Star Citizen. Um, I have not made a video on quite some time about this game and I was nearly forced into making one um, by the friend of mine who's uh, a big fan and a big supporter of this upcoming game. Uh, he again provided me his account details so that I can show off some stuff. There are two new ships available um, and I wanted to show them in the in the hangar. Uh, this is actually my second attempt to do this, um, so be warned, if you are interested in Star Citizen, be prepared that you need lots of machine power for that. Um, last week this hangar was configured to the industrial layout, you might remember this from my previous video, I think I can bring in a link here. And the industrial uh, hangar is a quite resource intensive hangar and we had the ships in there and there's lots of lighting effects, so my computer broke down completely. Like, really, I had to switch it off and restart it, and a second attempt failed as well. Now, he reconfigured his hangar, and we are now in the uh, in the white one. I don't remember the name of the hangar. Um, but uh, that's actually my favorite one, because it's so Apple Shop-like, and... Uh, here we go. These are the new ships. Uh, you can see one in the background, one in the front. The first one here is actually a multi-crew ship. It's uh, the Retaliator, and the Retaliator is uh, some kind of a heavy battle vessel. Um, we will go in there. You see there, I already opened, uh, opened the ship, and we can go inside and take a look around. And um, from what I understood about multi-crew ships is that you actually need a couple of people to run it successfully in battle and I'm really looking forward to this feature I don't necessarily have to be sitting in the front and and, and uh, control the vessel uh, that's not I wouldn't say it's my, not my favorite thing to do I'm not very good at it so I probably be of most use on, on some configuration point or whatever is possible. So I, I kind of imagine uh, like like a Star Trek uh, bridge or something like that and uh, you're in voice chat so I really hope they will implement something like that. But now let's take a look into the Retaliator. Uh, this ship is I think uh, I read in the specifications that it's more than 70 meters long and you actually can see that this is not to be used by a single person. Um, let's just go inside. This is so cool. I could do this the entire day. Anyway, um, let's let's have a look. Um, yeah, you can see a couple of doors are already open, so I've been in here before, but not everywhere, so uh, there might still be some surprises. This is the bridge. So we have one pilot seat. Uh, it would be nice to have a second one so that you can like sit with two people on the bridge and, and have a chat or something. Um, I think we can have a seat on the pilot place here. Um, there's the console and let's have a look around. Um, yeah. I will see no I think I don't think we can fly this one but um, as far as I saw it there is a computer available where we could actually take off and, and fly around a bit maybe I will do this later on okay then we have I think that's kind of a quarter here a bed um, but it cannot be used so I don't know if look at these details I mean seriously step yes Yes, and there are some pipes here, and I'm I'm already playing on low because everything else would simply not be possible on my machine. This is great. There's a bat and a med kit. Great. So upper deck. I've not been on the upper deck so far. Uh, I suppose that you could use oh sure you you can probably when when flying go up up there and use the turrets 
but I don't think we can go up there right now. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, these doors. This is great. Look at this. Hangar from the inside. I'm not sure what this room is for, but it looks cool. So we have power supply here. And it's it's coming... Well, I don't know where this cable goes to, but... This is great. Mind your step. <laughs> So let's see. If you take a look inside here, so that looks like some kind of weapon. The glass effect is awesome, even on low uh, detail settings. So if we go inside here, um, what was that use? Oh, I can close the door probably here. Lift here. Well, have fun lifting this one clear sky. <laughs> I think uh, the name just says it. Clear sky. Whoever you are, clear out. This is my sky. Um, dock A. So some kind of a docking thing here. And we can go to the back of the ship as well. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is used for. But there are a couple of rooms. More weapons, I think. Everyone has his locker. Could also be for cargo. Not sure about that. So... That's about it with the ship. Yeah, I can't go into the cargo room. But that's okay. Um, we actually don't have to go in there. We can take a look through the window. Oh. And we also... Yeah, that's... This is the same as in the front. So I suppose that's for, uh, for guns that you can operate. So maybe the multi-ship, uh, multi-crew ship is not so much about running the ship, but I'm I'm still looking forward to it. Um, but more about um, using all those uh, this mounted weapon platforms. We will see. Um, as as soon as it's possible to fly in one of those, I will definitely make a video if my computer actually works uh, with this. So, and this leads us to the second ship of the day, and this is the Gladius. The Gladius is a short-range fighter ship for only one pilot. This is a fighter. I mean, look at all those weapons. Here we got weapons, and there are a couple of more, and some rockets, and uh, fuel. Yeah, we can, we can fuel it up. I don't want to go up against this one. It looks awesome and we can actually use it. And this, this is one thing that I really really like about the game. Um, these spacecrafts have some some kind of inner logic so they actually work and you, you believe that they work. Uh, like when when we just stepped into this plane, there was some uh, some opening at the side and the ladder folded inside and you could actually imagine, yeah, that could work. That's, that's uh, some kind of device and mechanism that could totally work. So there's not much to see about the Gladius. I think uh, this one is most interesting uh, when you are actually flying with it. So... Um, the interior is, it looks kind of, kind of used already, but I think that's, that's by design, um, to, to show that this thing is for heavy duty. And look on the, at the side, at the signs of the, on the glass, where it's supposed to be closed and 
some quality markings. It's it's amazing. And it's actually colored glass. I totally like this. So that's the Gladius. And I want to try one more thing before I end this short little peek into Star Citizen. There was a computer somewhere. I think it was in the other room over here. Yeah, let's run. Uh, you see the round thing there? This is a computer where you could actually run a simulation. And I want to see if it is possible for us to use it. And what happens then? Ooh, Arena Commander. Um, you know what? I will do this in another video. Not today, but on my own account with my own ship and probably get myself some help and we will do this next Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed this little peek especially into the Retaliator which is an awesome ship. I know I mean uh, take a look at uh, Robert Space Industries site and and take a look at what it costs. I'm really glad that most of the stuff you can actually purchase in-game later on because I would not have the funds to yeah to spend it before this game is even launched and uh, I'm really really grateful that I can take a look into all this great stuff before the game comes out and uh, make these videos so I hope you enjoyed it too and if you have some questions regarding Star Citizen uh, just give them to me and I will I will uh, have some chats and with a with an expert about all this so I hope you enjoyed it if yes so just show me by clicking the like subscribe to my channel there's some more stuff going on and until then Bye.